Okay, I'm actually coming at you guys from the roof. I really haven't seen any mu like anything much from on top of the roof. So we're up here. Okay, it is now day two. Here's a little kit with me. As you can remember, we picked these up as little puppies and they're so big now. Oh, and she's trying to eat the tripod. Um, but yeah, so it is day two of the install. Kit is not very excited. Kit, Kit, do you have anything to say to the people about the install of the solar? No? He's speechless. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Um, so yeah, uh, puppies are kind of locked inside. Normally they have access to the backyard, but we had to take that away because they're doing a bunch of work back there. So the puppies are uh, a little cooped up. But it'll be okay. So yeah, day two. Um, day one, I was editing that video and everything. A lot going on. Um, if you couldn't tell, in the beginning of the day, I was a, I was a little tired, a little monotone. <laughs> um, I couldn't sleep the night before. I was just so excited for this. This is almost like the feeling of when I got my first Tesla. It's that cool. And actually, they're right up there right now. But yeah, so it was a very similar feeling, so I, I don't know, I just couldn't sleep. So um, I just stayed up real late and was very tired. But I did get some sleep this morning, so that is awesome. But yeah, so let's go ahead and head out there and check out what's going on today. Brought the box truck back again with the rest of our panels right there. Still have these guys sitting right there. And then over here, he just did a little bit more mudding around it. Um, he's actually on the back though, doing the conduit that's going up and around on the outside of the house. So that's what he's doing right now. We'll kind of walk it so you can check it out. So it just tucks right under that soffit. Super, super tight. And then just runs right up there. And then all the way over. So they just kept with that line right there. And then it meets up with the other conduit. So here is the side of the house. Current state. Just running that right there. Down into that other box, which I believe is our last box. So that is pretty much how it's going to look, which is pretty sweet. Really cleaned it up over here. I love this. That's really nice. Okay, yeah, lots of action on the roof today. He's up there doing some conduit. Yep. And then over here, more conduit going on. Oh, they got that bottom rail right there done. So that looks really nice. And there should be side rails too, going up the left and right side. Okay, so it is 11 o'clock update. Still waiting on that to dry. But they've been doing a lot outside on the conduit. So gone is that all oh, that went under the door. And it'll now go up there. And he's working on removing some of the other stuff. So we have where the electricity comes in over here. And then all of the PV system and all that jazz over here. So we'll have one meter in there. One meter in there. And that's what it looks like. Okay, so in yesterday's video, I showed you a little bit about the panels. There's actually stacks, I don't know, they're kind of, kind of everywhere. We got a lot of panels. Um, but a lot of you were asking details on the panels. So, this is my attempt at that. I don't know a ton about the panels, I'm not gonna lie. So here is the sticker. So, we opted for the 325 watt panels. These are the Tesla ones made in Buffalo. They were actually just made July 9th which happens to be my mother's birthday, so happy birthday, mom. Anyway, so, manufactured by Panasonic, assembling US, foreign components, um, blah, 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 blah. So there's all your ratings. But yeah, so these are the 325 watt panels, currently the biggest Tesla offers. Short circuit, 6.03 amps. Open circuit, 69.6 .6 volts. And all your other numbers right there, and all that jazz. And a lot of you guys are asking about this. And actually here's how they all hook up. So they all have these guys on it with their 
disconnects, do not disconnect under load. You can see these panels are actually pretty big. They're a lot bigger than I thought, which is actually pretty good because it just means that we're gonna get that much more efficiency out of these things. So yeah, and then I guess they have like a crystalline finish, like protector on there. You can kind of hear it. It's totally smooth. It looks almost like it has a little bit of ridges. But yeah, so the 325s do have a little bit more white on them, but we opted for those just to maximize. So we just wanted to maximize our system. Tesla does have black panels, but they're a little less wattage. I believe it's 10 watts a piece, which if you have a small system, by all means, isn't that much, but we have 51 panels. So 10 watts a piece, it's almost half a kilowatt we would have lost there. Multiply that by 20, 30 years, it, it adds up. So that's why we went with the 325s. I know a lot of people have been asking, that is why. I, I kind of wanted something made in Buffalo too, just because I'm all about like getting more jobs and helping support the US. So that is why we went with these. Hopefully that answers a few questions you guys had. If you still have them, definitely drop them down in the comment section below and I'll try to get them for you. Okay, I'm actually coming at you guys from the roof. We're up here. Went ahead and set up our own ladder so that I could uh, jump up here and get some quick video footage for you guys because I really haven't seen any mu like anything much from on top of the roof. So we're up here. Um, you can see these are the little boxes. I'll uh, go over that a little bit later. These are the little boxes they screw into the rafters. There's a big bowl. So they actually fill it with this sealant. You can see right here there's a intake and then it starts oozing out the other side as soon as it's pretty full. And like these are rock solid and sealed so that we don't get any leaks, which is awesome. Okay, and here you can see this back side where some panels are gonna be. And you have like the little junction box where all the strings go in, connect all together. Oh, here you can see what they do for their mounts that they put on the roof to secure themselves. And they all just tie into that. Um, what else would you guys like to see? Here's kind of like how everything, like all the poles and conduit is run. It's really nice. They, instead of coming all the way out and around this, they just went right through it, sealed it up all nice so that it looks all way more professional and everything. And you can see there is our second box and then there's a box up on that other roof. So here is the front skirt right here. And this is what makes it look so much nicer from the street so that you don't actually see under it. It kind of looks like it almost like touches the roof, but there is a gap for like rain and snow and stuff. Then they have these which attach to the pucks and that is how they attach everything. They use these similar type clips to actually hold in the panels. I mean, this thing is, this thing is a rock solid. So that's really cool to see. And then, yeah, so anytime they have to connect uh, like these two pieces together or even panels, they use this guy, which kind of hooks into both. And then they have a separate connector here if they are like connecting four panels together, it'll connect to all four. These just connect these two pieces so they're slightly different right here. A lot of cool work being done. It was exciting to get up on the roof and uh, kind of check it out. I've always been curious about this, so. Okay, here's the front of the skirt. That's on a bigger portion over there. See just like how much nicer it looks than being open. And you can see that gap on the bottom so that any snow or rain can just wash right off. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and climb on down and then I think they're gonna start putting some panels up. Exciting! So solar panels are heading up. Oh, I see. So he's handing them up, grabbing them, taking them over. So they're working on this one over here first. It's drizzling a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't downpour too much. Okay, luckily we just dodged the storm, but as you can see, they got that up in what, David, like 15 minutes? Yeah, like <laughs> Went up real, real quick. So now they're just attaching everything, making sure everything's up. level. Yeah. Look at that. The first 20 panels. First 20 panels are in.
close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And I the first array of solar panels, 20 panels on top of the house today. It was amazing how fast they were able to put that yeah. array together. After they had installed all those pucks and, and stuff onto the house and, and that front skirt, they they were ready to start putting the panels up. They just, you know, walked them up the ladder and within seconds they were able to put down each panel, snap it again into that front skirt, mm -hmm. setting it down, and the, they went all the way across. Within a minute they probably had five panels lined up. Then the, the guys got out there and started adding the leveling feet and getting the panels lined up just right and connecting those you know positive and negative cables together and it was just amazing how fast within probably 15 20 minutes they put those 20 panels up on the roof it yeah. did start sprinkling today uh, and then it started kind of raining so they did call it a day but uh, so we only have the first mounting plane the first array set up on the house today mm -hmm. we'll be back tomorrow morning and we have got three more arrays coming so yeah, a lot to look forward to tomorrow. I think they'll be able to finish all the electrical tomorrow too. Might roll over an extra day, not quite sure yet. We'll uh, keep you guys updated. But yeah, super excited with the amount of work done today and it was really impressive to see them throw these panels up there and get it done real quick. It went up real fast, so yeah, it looked really cool. So we've got 20 panels on the roof already and they're gonna be adding another 31 tomorrow morning. So basically it though, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And uh, this is the end of day two for our solar install. So more to come tomorrow on day three. One thing though, I'd recommend you check out my Instagram and my Twitter. I'll go ahead and link it down below. That way you can follow us there because I do post a lot of updates throughout the day too as they are happening. So definitely check that out if you are interested. Also, if you're looking for a Tesla, check out our website, teslainventory.com. And if you're looking for a new or inventory Model S or X, feel free to use our referral code. It's down in the description below and at the top of our website. Using it will actually get you free unlimited supercharging, which is currently the only way to do so. It's an awesome perk that we use all the time. And also the referral code does work for solar. It'll actually add five years to your solar warranty, which we are actually taking advantage of. As always though, thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Go and click here to subscribe here for some other videos. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Broadway is black like a sinkhole. Everyone race to the suburbs. And I'm on the rooftop with curious strangers. This is the artist of summer.